by the story of my brother's peculiar chicken? Well, if not, I'm going to tell you. My brother Kiko once had a very peculiar chicken. He was peculiar because no one could ever tell whether it was a rooster or a hen. My brother claimed he was a rooster. Well, I claim he was a hen. We always cut quick because we argued too much. The whole question began on early morning. Kiko and I were driving the chickens into the pool. The porches kept playing, and the chickens were scratching the seeds for foods. And we suddenly, we heard a rapid flopping of wings. We turned the direction of the sound, and we saw two chickens fighting in fire over the field. Well, we couldn't see it clearly because they were lunching in the well of the feathers and us. Look! A rooster fighting! My brother said, pointing exactly at one of the chickens. Why? If I had a rooster like that, I would be rich in the goodness. Let's go and catch it, I suggested. No, you stay here. I'll go and catch it, Kiko said. So we slowly approached the balance. They were so busy, they didn't notice him. As soon as he got near them, he dived and cut the middle heads. Well, the chickens struggled and squiggled. As soon as Kiko finally both held both wings, it became stiff. I ran over to look. Why? There's a head. I asked. What does rap matter with you? Is the head making you sick? My brother asked me. No! Look at his face. He has no pumps or rattles. Comes and waddles. Who cares about comes and waddles? Did it just hit in a fight? Sure, I saw it fight, but I still say that is a hen. Ahem. Have you ever seen a hen with feathers like this, with spurs on its legs like this, and a tail like this? I don't care about its spurs or tail. I still say that is a hen. Well, the whole argument went over the whole morning. Soon, at lunch, we went, we went to eat lunch. Well, as we arrived at home, Kiko tied the chickens in the bed, and the chicken started flapping wings in it proud. There, did you hear that? My brother explained, trying to laugh. I suppose you are going to tell me that hands growls and caribos fly. I don't care if it grows or not. I still say that is a hen. Well, the discussion continues. In our lunch, he said, that is not a hen. That is a rooster. No, that is a hen. It is not. It is. Well, now, 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 Mother interrupted. How many times father must tell you boys not to argue during lunch? What is his argument this time? We told Mother about the chicken. And she went over to look at the chicken. That chicken? It's a vanilla egg. It's a rooster that looks like a hen. Well, that should have ended their argument. But father went, also went out to see the chicken. Have you been drinking again? My mother asked. No. My mother asked. Well, what makes you say that that thing is a hen? Have you seen a hen with feathers like that? No. Did you know that I have been handling fighting cats since I was a boy? And I tell you, that thing is not a rooster. Kiko and I soon realized Mama and Father have been arguing by themselves. But the chicken, well, Mother was She always cried during an argument with Father. You know, you know that I know, but that is a that is a rooster. Are just being mean, mean, stubborn. I'm sorry, but I tell you that is a when I see one. Father answered, "Well, I know how we can solve this problem. Let's go to the chief of the village that the Nyan did invite. Well, the chief of the village is the oldest man in the town. But that didn't mean that he was the wisest. But you know, anything there are more great when it's said by someone." Well, Kiko untied a chicken and we took it a chicken. We asked the chicken, is this a male or a female chicken? Well, the chicken answered, I think, well, that question is the only good son, another chicken. Well, is it, we have 
be special interest about this chain. Please give us the answer. Is this a rooster? It does not look like a bear and rooster. I don't want to see it. It is a head then. It does not look like a gun again. No, that wouldn't be a chain. It must be some bad since the matter come. Oh, what's the use? He goes sad and we walked away. I don't know. Let's go see Mr. Bruce. Mr. Bruce lives in the town of Bruce. He studied cultural racing in the University of the Philippines. And he owned and operated the largest culture business in the town. Mr. Bruce! Well, he was that. Is this a rooster or a hen? Hmm. I don't know. I can tell the one which. Well, we have we are really confused if this is a red pen or a rooster. Let's see. Let's see at the back feathers at the back of your chin. If the feathers is brown, then it is a hen. But if the feathers are pointed, then it is a rooster. The three of us examined the feathers closely. It had both. Is there another way you could tell us? Well, I could feel it and examine its inside. No! I don't want it to be killed. So he got out took the chickens and we went back to the barn. Kiko was silent most of his way. Then he said, I know how I can prove that this is a rooster. How? I asked. No. Would you agree that this is a rooster if I make it flat and it wins the game? Well, I would believe anything if it wins. All right, he said. Let's take it to the cockpit this Sunday. So that Sunday, we took the chicken to the court. And Kiko was finding a suitable opponent for his chicken. Finally, he picked the red rooster. Don't be that red rooster. You know very well that that is a killer. That rooster is not a naked chicken. He's from Texas. I do not care where it came from. My rooster will kill it. Well, don't be a fool! That rooster had killed many chickens that a fox did. And, and not any, any other rooster in this town was dead against it. Be the lesser one. But my brother would not listen to me. The match was made. Of course. The, the crowd will bet at the game, at the red game. The fight was brutal. Well, at the fight, true. The chickens were in the center of the arena. I thought the chick, my chicken would die in fright. But suddenly, a strange thing happened. A lovesick expression came into my red ro rooster eyes. Then it made a love to But if one thousand more chickens needed, it rushed towards the red rooster. And with its next rather flaring and one lunch, it buried its birth into Bonnie's chest. The fight was over. Jump out! People tore the band with benches out, but he could not have to run through the back way. We ran as fast as we can until we lost him. As soon as we were safe, he was said, Now, do you believe me that there was a that is a rooster? Well, I said, Yes, I answered. I was happy that all over the argument was over, but suddenly the chicken woke I was cackled in laughter. A worm and brown top of my head. It was an egg! Well, that ends the story of my brother's speculation. So what do you think? It is a hen or a rooster? Thank you.